Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. First of all, let me thank you for welcoming me into your homes, and if this is your first time with us, let me extend to you an invitation to drag out your DS and play along with us. And if you don't know what that's from, I'm I'm deeply sorry for your for how your life has gone this thus far, but that is a that's a Bob Ross thing. And actually specifically that that specific part is from uh, a, an episode that was used for the Bob Ross remix. Which, if you haven't seen it, you absolutely should. It is wonderful. It will brighten up your day, I promise you. Anyway, this episode, we're really just... I don't know. We're, we're, we're getting the farming stuff done. We're, we're probably going to be switching over to the spring sun today. Maybe. Well, not today, but this episode. Maybe. Um, the carrots do need to be grow fully grown, and we're actually going to be over 99 spinach seeds. So these these six spinach, we're not going to be turning into seeds, we're just going to be selling at this week's bazaar. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, we are going to want to be getting a lot of good butter made, because... Well, now that Chen finally sold the oil, we can go through that massive backlog of milk. And normally, when you have a lot of stuff to process, you kind of want to be doing the whole blowing on the microphone thing and all this kind of stuff. We're already going to have at least 60 butter. At least 60 good butter to sell at this week's bazaar. Probably 90. And so, uh, I, we really don't need to be trying to, uh, to speed up the processing anymore than we uh, than the wind will by itself so yeah it, it's it's uh, yeah, yeah. it'll get better I promise but, yeah we've got we've got a massive backlog it there is some risk and processing all of the milk into butter that the butter will start to go bad that it will It'll start to be like, oh, it's it's uh, not so fresh and all this kind of stuff. But I guess we'll see. Actually, oh no, fairly fresh. Fairly fresh is the one is one step down from from the uh, from super fresh. So yeah, there's a good chance that the butter will end up being fairly fresh before we manage to sell it. Wait, where's Amir? Not fall, so he shouldn't be gone. Which actually reminds me that, yeah, he's gonna be gone this fall, and we need to check and see what his friendship level is, what his friendship level is like, and what will make a plan for that. Maybe the plan is just to not include him in these, in these gifts, in these uh, uh, cooked dishes gift things. And just give him the, that wrapped, that wrapped milk every single day. Hmm? Ah, it's you. Please don't overwork yourself, Ray. Sorry, I don't like this. Ah, uh, cause see, then, then we get that. And even if he does like it, right? It's not going to raise his friendship as much as just a wrapped, wrapped bottle of milk will. So. That might be the way to go. For me, thanks. Oh, Ray, hello. Oh, wait. Wow, this is such a great gift. It's a keeper, thanks. That's right, we already know what Marion likes. Oh. Raisin bread. Have we tried giving the residents of Zephyr Town raisin bread? I don't think we have. We're gonna hold off on giving a mirror any any of the any of the stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know if we'll actually have any extra vichy swan now. But anyway, mm. I I do know what both Claire and uh, and Nelly like, and uh, it's actually not cooked dishes. I can't believe I got that so wrong. Yeah. Yeah. 
There's, let me see, like five or six windmill items that are favorite gifts, which is just nuts. That's like a quarter of the population. Maybe a fifth. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't actually know how many people live in Zephyrtown, but I think it's about a quarter of the population of Zephyrtown. Likes either windmill items. There's actually one that I can think of right off the top of my head that... I think I might know what Roll's favorite gift is. <gasps> um, no, it's too late. I can't. I can't get it because I already put it through the process. I think Roll likes golden eggs. That is my suspicion. Is that Roll likes golden eggs? But unfortunately, I've already put all of our eggs in in here. All of our golden eggs in here. So anyway. Well, it doesn't matter that this milk is not so fresh because it will ma be making super fresh butter. So that'll make 12 spinach seeds. And I'm going to go ahead when when we've got our nose in the storage, I'm going to show you that we have quite a lot of those in storage. Quite, um, And so we should have 87 in storage right now. 87 spinach seeds. Yeah. And so those six that sp six spinach turned into 12 spinach seeds, that will get us one full stack. And well, yeah, that's that's already too much for us. All right, and here is the moment of truth. Five star tomatoes. Yes, five star tomatoes. Okay, so we can go ahead and stop fertilizing any of the summer crops. Well, until next year. And yeah, sure, we could get these three-star tomatoes up a little bit, but and eh, nah. And still no golden egg. I actually really, really would would like to give that a shot. Give um, give Raul a golden egg and see if any likes it. But uh, well, we'll have to wait, I guess. And that's fine. Speaking of, let's hope that Enrique sells some silky chickens this week. My goodness. It has been a while. Just gotta use our bell. That way we can get our animals to like us, you know. As we ring the bell. That's how that's how you get get not just animals, but people too, to like you. Is that any bell that might be associated with that person, you ring it. Oh yeah, so something I've been forgetting for the past several episodes to show is that check this out. Here's Luna, right here. So that, that the whole thing where the question, question, question mark under Sherry, yeah, that's where Luna goes. Or, well, whatever, baby. You have whatever you name your child. Yeah, Amir's at four out of 10 hearts. Boy, that's a problem. Our chances of getting him to 10 uh, before the end of the year are Tiny. Yeah, we should probably figure out some way to stagger the sheep shearing now, to re-stagger it after the sheep festival. And that way we don't have to shear all of our sheep every single day. And I think the best way to do that would probably be to shear three sheep and then she three sheep today, three sheep tomorrow, etc. Hey, golden egg. Oh, man. All right, so... Hmm. I mean, I guess we can go ahead and try giving that to Raul today. And if there is some miracle and we get a golden egg tomorrow as well, then we can... Then we can give it to him for his birthday, if it is his favorite thing. Yo. Yo. You know, I bet Antoinette's favorite thing is great wool. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. When when our sheep produces, when Glaceon 
produces its golden fleece. Then we will see, I suppose. Not sure if it would be if her favorite thing would be golden wool or gold or great ball of wool. And I guess we'll have to see. You gotta be a bit more careful about some stuff. That is the first perfect we have had in uh, quite some time. And it's also a new high score. Let us try, hey there, working hard, Ray? Giving this golden egg to Raul. See if he likes it. This is really cool, thanks. Well, he liked it, just not as much as I hoped he would. Bombing is tough, isn't it? I don't know how you do it. I wouldn't even know where to begin. You're quite amazing. Well, you know, Felix gave this really, really nice tutorial. And now I'm a master farmer. And there wasn't any, like, step one this, step two, I don't know, step three, I don't know, step four, master farmer. No, it's just step one, Felix gave me a tutorial, and then, and then that's it, master farmer, so... It's not really all that amazing, and just ask Felix to give you a tutorial and you too can be a master farmer. And sure enough, the carrots are going to take an extra day or two after the spinach is done. Oh well. Such is life. I actually should have planted two rows of carrots instead of planting the spinach, but... I miscalculated. And I am sorry. I'm sorry. So you remember how, like, I re-recorded, or I redid, the days last week in order to get the sheep thing going? Well, yeah. This is... It was raining on Friday, and so... Oh. Oh my goodness. I had completely forgotten. Thank goodness we caught him before... Hi there! Working hard, Ray? <laughs> it's so pretty. I like red wrapping paper, but Marion likes yellow. <laughs> For my birthday, you're great, Ray. Anything new on the menu doesn't look like it. Honestly, we should probably get some pumpkin pudding at some point to uh, to share with everyone. And we didn't give Sherry her herb salad this morning. Ay ay ay. All right, let's head back home so we can do just that. Jerry, I'm sorry. Oh, goodness. And she's gone. She's gone to hang out with Antoinette, hasn't she? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Go! Mm -hmm. What is it, honey? This herb salad is my favorite. I'm really touched that you remembered, honey. Yeah. But I didn't remember to give it to you this morning. Well, hopefully this episode will be fairly short. Just a nice, short, relaxing episode. Don't always have to be triggering random events or participating in festivals and things like that. But anyway, uh, for now, I uh, think that will be everything. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope the rest of your day is a good one. And I hope to see you later. Bye.